So hey guys, it's Monster Bash Productions here, and we are doing the C Tamiya CC01 build, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, this is the truck I won from the TT Rude Boys RC 2013 TTC, and so yeah, I got first. It's pretty exciting, and so. If you can see up there, right at the top, I got my GoPro doing a time lapse for YouTube. And yeah, and I'm just filming this from the camera right now. So I'll just show you all the parts. And I did a, big, a bit of research on the whole chassis setup and everything. Uh, I will have to use these lipos, which is not a bad thing I don't really care they're pretty good and so yeah let's get started boxing so here's the stickers and I believe yeah the manual assembly kits in there uh, here's the chrome parts uh, this was I kinda took some stuff out and looked at it the ESC they included it I'm not sure if it's just in the special edition or what but yeah I'm just gonna turn off my Wi-Fi, since I don't really need that anymore. Uh, this is, I do believe, the axle with some servo parts, and this is, yeah, okay, that's the gear cover, and that's part of the transmission right there. Uh, here's the body. I don't see a film on it, so. But that's no issue to me. I'm fine. Uh, but yeah, I'm not sure what truck this is based on. Either it's an '80s. About I think it's a Ford. <laughs> Personally, I don't like Ford, but uh, uh, it does matter. It's it's a pretty sweet body. Uh, I did compare this to my Dodge Ram body, the one that I ran on my TTC truck. This one's a slight bit shorter, about an inch or so. So yeah. Uh these are are these beadlocks I'm not sure but based on what I'm seeing I think these are plastic so oh they give you a motor too well do look at that and so they got grease this is all your hardware there's a motor in there I didn't know that uh, lots of hardware body pins it looks to be all like Phillips hardware there's some yokes springs uh, just checking if my GoPro died yet uh, oils and I can't see the rest there's lots of parts in there next is lots of rod ends uh, yeah based on my research those are the links right there Excuse me. Uh, and some steering parts. So some pla and chalk parts. So this seems like a pretty easy kit to build just looking at it. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, body balance. Uh, the bumper. ESC plate. Just just guessing on that these tires so these are street tires and I'm just gonna say right now I'm not this will be a trail truck but which it's made for but I'm probably gonna use this for like a pulling truck like pulling a trailer and we'll get to that part later in the weeks or the days plastic gears which is not a big deal to me it's just based on look at this I just wish that they made the axle gears at least metal because looks yeah they made plastic ones so I'll s probably upgrade those in the future then here is the chassis which seems to be of a good plastic mold like it's flexy enough but it's not too brittle but yeah 
caution rotating parts. And that's it. Oh, never mind. Antenna tube. But I'm using 2.4, won't need that. So, just an empty box. So you can see all these parts. Let's build a CCO1. So I'm just filming this and I'm gonna speed it up since my GoPro already died, but I was setting that up, so. This is what I've gotten. I guess so. I figured out the motor mounting assembly and so that's it and speed up about right now. Hey guys, um, pretty much done the build. It turned out great. Look at that. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna use the stock motor and ESC for now. Uh, probably upgrade in the future for more torque gear motor. Probably like a Tekken I'm looking at, or RC4 drive if I wanna go cheap. But uh, yeah, I'm looking for probably a good torquey motor to pull like a 45 probably then the stock ESC just upgrade it to what I feel like probably the stock AE to ESC so all in all I went good together tips really read the instructions really helps I messed up on the, these front shock body posts like three times first use the wrong type of washer then the wrong type of screw for the uh, front diff, uh, use the wrong type of screw again. Uh, 
Yeah, so just really read the instructions and make sure you're using the right pieces. Because a lot of like these rod ends, they differ in the inner diameter size and everything. So really look at those. Uh, yeah, all in all went together. Good. Uh, I don't have any tire glue, so I'm going to do this off camera when I get some. And as for the body... I still have yet to paint it. Uh, I did find out it does have a film. So... Focus. So there you can see it has film. So, we'll sit on something about like that. Oh, there we go. There's two types of body mounting positions, so... Well, actually, there's a lot of body mounting positions. So, yeah. It's about the wheelbase of a dingo, so... Uh... I don't really know what uh, much else to say. It doesn't have... It's not like a real trail rig. It doesn't have really any excel... Like... Articular... Articulate... Articulation. <laughs> and, yeah. So, I don't have a servo yet. I'll probably put... Enough to move it. I'll probably get one of those high techs. Uh, well, actually, I'm not going to be doing mud bogging or putting this through water, really. Like, maybe damp water on the ground, but, like, nothing submerging it, even the slightest. So, I'll probably, uh, uh, put a new servo on my SCX-10, which I love, and take that one and put it in here. Yeah, and then the receiver, I'm going to get one for my fly sky. You can see, so it's dirt from the TTC. It was a muddy day, kind of. So, yeah. Um, I did figure out these batteries do fit my nice ones. But they do not, like, I'm not sure if you can see that, but... This thing's supposed to go through there? It can't. This battery's like a couple millimeters too long. So, but it does fit, so I, I'm i not sure what I'm going to do with that, how to modify it. So, thanks for watching, guys. And, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to this, really. Probably upgrade bearings. Oh, no, I'm making this into a truck to pull a trailer. All in all, I probably made this in about four hours give or take with but I'm not fully done so like without painting the body which will take a long time it's probably gonna take it, it's five hours give or take so I have a couple pieces <laughs> just a couple there's actually quite a bit all those left over but those, those are still like servo mounts and stuff still some screws and stuff that you need and then more body mounts I don't know why and yeah I don't really know what else to say also some screws left over so these are about 1.5s so thanks for watching guys and next time you see this I'll probably be running it thanks for watching